My name is unimportant, but what is important is that I am the director of the movie Keeper of Dice. Now you may be thinking that story is fictional. Well, no. The film is based on true events. What happened here was real. No. So this, so this documentary will show what happened here. Well, today, a or words, words, we are going to film. We are going to talk about uh, a few people uh, and interview them, and and including me, and also my friend and Leo Monroy, to tell tell about the story and the truth about the keeper of death, and also other words, the river bank keeper. Okay, so my idea of the film of keeper of the was well, basically he, I, when we went to the library, well me, I went to the library he, where I lived around, I'm not going to tell you my location, but uh, I looked around and I found this book, like when the book uh, like down like the end of the shelves, uh, it was like down in the basement, it was called the Riverbank Keeper, or I, well there was one section in the book was called that, like one chapter, or, but the book was called, the book was called Legends of the Riverbank. Or us so, uh, around here. It explains some legends and some myths and all, like how they could debunk. But there was one um, chapter where I say where it explains the river bank keeper. Or, but uh, it had no conclusion. Like it doesn't say like if it's real or fake. There's they show document documented evidence, but not really that much. Uh, so, so uh, so I was thinking, hey, I should make this film for the talent show because. I had a film club at school, so I wanted to do a movie there. We were filming another movie, but we also want. But while the time show was about to, like the auditions, like began, I was like, I will come with my with the idea for a movie. I did join, join, and and basically I took the sto the first story of the film, and was very different from the last one. Alright, so he reached out to me and called me and told me if I want to be about in this movie about a legend or a myth about the riverbank keeper. And I basically just said yes and I would like to be a part of this project. So I asked my cousin to help me, who also known as Leo, and basically he like stepped it like eh, eh, something like all that. Uh, so here's like the actual story. So back in 1979, I'm basically, basically a uh, murder, a uh, murder nearly took place. Uh, so where basically uh, the keeper, I'm trying to think this over my head. The basically the Riverbank keeper went to down the uh, way down there, like a few miles down there where I like live around. Now uh, he kidnapped a man, and and he came back here like down there. Uh, he was about to slap, was about to like kill him with a knife, but uh, several people saw him carrying like a large bag. And of course, if you carry a large bag, or everybody's not going to assume that you're Santa Claus. Uh, it's plain case. Hey, so you went down right there. Okay, my memory's kind of faulty with this. Yes. It's a large group of people, really with torches and all, like a whole bunch of police and all, like several other people, like there was very few police. About to stop, stop the keeper. He ends up dropping the knife and ends up running away. Then when he went down there, he has like no way, like, or else he's going to encounter them again, or it will go infinity, like a circle. So he ends up jumping into the lake. Hey, and that's basically the story hey, of the actual, uh, the first encounter of the keeper. But according to the book I read, the book I read that I already mentioned is that. Uh, it basically said that the keeper was a man in his 20s and something like that who made the deal with the devil. Oh, like for um, like to live forever. I forgot what was that word, but but the deal was to kill six people. Oh, but six people like each year, year I believe. Eve and the person he was about to kill, which was the man back in 1975, it was supposed to be the 666 six person to be killed. No, no. So many people assume that that was the that he's involved with the devil. Oh, so that was basically my idea, just to take that story and make it to a film.
but due to several production and problems, how much and all, we couldn't really do it. Yeah. Yeah, like the person I was supposed to work with that isn't my, uh, that isn't my cousin and he, my friend and then me. I asked him, and man, he keeps like procrastinating, like he didn't really want to do it. So I was like, okay, I would just do, do it with my cousin, like all that. And, oh gracious. But there were several production issues. Like they never, like when I submitted the title Keeper of Death, they never wanted the title to the school. They say, no, no, remove the word death. Just call it the Keeper. I say, no, we have to call it Keeper of Death. It's based on, it's based on like a legend or myth. And then we're like, like, all right, all right. So yeah. yeah, that's basically the end of the original concept of the movie. Yeah, so his friend didn't want to really do it, so then we had to film something else, something new, something... What do you call it? Mm. I'm not sure what the word is, but... Yeah, we had to change the subject on the keep... the the keeper to something new, so because his friend didn't want really want to be a part about uh, the movie. So we went with a different concept of that movie. Basically, I took the story of the final exp exp like the final appearance, like the final appearance of of the Riverbank Keeper. Like like nobody saw him later. So after 1979, basically he jumped through the he jumped into the water of the river. People thought he was dead, like completely dead. Like, but the problem was that he, they couldn't find a body, like floating around. People say, hmm, maybe he got caught by under rocks, by under dirt. But people examined that spot, like the actual spot where he landed in, and they looked at it and they go, how he could be stuck in there. So that was basically the problem with that. Ah, but in any case, hey, so we went with the the last experience. But he actually appeared again in 1999. Alright, we're in May of 1999, possibly May 30th. And, and a, couple, a couple told the police that they saw that a strange man wearing a top hat, a white mask, and like a suit and all, uh, coming out of the water, or like looking like completely dry, I, I, and walking down there, like all the way down, all the way over there. Like just walking, like walking, like nobody bothered him. Like they just look at him like the strangest thing they ever saw. Uh, so he went to the same house, yet again, and uh, from 79, but a different person was living there. there. So, oh, uh, it's like basically the same, so he was about to call him with uh, like a knife he had in it. The people examined that he had a knife in his pocket. He was about to kill him right there and there. But the man, according to the police report, said hey, the man used self-defense with a convenient place stick. I don't know how you conveniently have a stick around. Oh, most likely to beat your children, but in any case. Hey, hey, so, so the keeper ended up jumping out of the window, running down the street, but a, ran, but a strange figure ended up stabbing the keeper to death. Yes. The police came over, they examined him, and yes, he is officially dead, and as we speak right now. Oh, so I just took the con the story of that and just make it towards, towards the movie you see called Keeper of Death. Go. Yeah, there was some production issues. There's things we could and could not film in time, and we had to get everything rushed, like rush, 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 because we only had a time. We had a time limit, and. All in all, the movie came out great. I think it's great, and you guys should watch it. There were several production issues I did mention earlier, here, but the problem was that yes, we couldn't film not, not that much things. Things I think I'm trying to remember, but uh, we filmed on the exact locations. Actually, we're in the same place where the entire event happened. And by any case, we're in the same place that it happened, but. Uh, it happened and all the way down there. We were filming in the exact locations. It felt like we're rec recreating history of yeah, this legend or myth. Yes, because it seemed real, but nobody, but like the person who actually existed, but nobody couldn't figure out the past. They just made 
It's like conspiracy theories, trust me, like theories and all that. But in case. So, oh yeah, we try, we found one in the same like, location. Coincidentally, there was a couple there with a ukulele and they're all like staring at us, like if they knew something. And we were filming at the exact neighborhood. Uh, literally, when, every time we try to film, my like, car will pass by, this will pass by. I kid, like, it was like 11.30 and 11.30 at night and also, also like 4 or 5 in the morning. And there were like people out there. Like they're still wide awake. I know like several places were different time zones, but they're still like wide awake. So that was pretty interesting and to know. Then we we finished the film. It was like a complete utter disaster. Like, like the VCR wouldn't work when you try like to edit the movie. And so I basically grabbed my phone and I had to do it quickly because it was literally you within one or two, like literally the 20, 10, 12 hours when I was editing the film, I had to show it to my school. So, and there you go. That was completely done. And it was complete, utter, insane, insanity. So, we try to access the locations right here. Like these locations that have been true been tackled. But sadly, it is closed. What a coincidence. Coincidence? I think not. Uh, I'm believing that these people who own this place is, were afraid to show the true events of what happened of the riverbank keeper. And right here and right there were the paths that the people took. If we go a little bit down there, will be the exact location where the keeper fell off. So it seems like there was an outwinding event right here. But in any case, so right down there, he drew two lies over there. But sorry, they couldn't show it. So yes, but I'll end it off right here in a closing note. I uh, was telling you the true story of what happened right here at the Riverbank Keeper.